I've got good and bad news for you guys here. If you tuned into my segment a month ago or so when I went over the Covered Core company profile, and uh, what you know stood out to me if you saw that was the capital was shockingly low in my opinion. I almost thought they might have missed a, a digit there. It was that low even. You see that amount of yen converts to roughly $4.3 million USD with the current exchange rate, which again is shockingly low for the current state of CoverCore slash Hololive. Well, it turns out according to this Japanese publication, PR Times, an article from May 7th, that CoverCore has actually raised closer to 1 billion yen. And here's some more criticism for CoverCore. You guys might want to update your company profile page because some investors or potential investors are going to see that capital and turn and run the other direction. At the same time, you can make an argument that people don't want to invest in an overvalued company, fair enough. But I think the point here we can all agree on is they should probably have the accurate information on their company profile. Let's also take into account that this report is from May 7th. There could be additional investors that have come on board since then. Now, why is this good and bad news? Well, I was thinking about this last night and I realized, man, thinking about it, there's a potential chance that there are some very wealthy Chinese investors investing in CoverCore, AKA they own a portion of the company. I mean, wouldn't that be something kind of crazy if this whole time that people were supporting CoverCore, they were actually supporting a company bought and paid by China already, we just didn't know it. Here's the good news, that's not really the case. The bad news is it's kind of going that direction and from what we've seen recent developments, but here's backing that up a bit. You see, I went to their shareholders and I took a look at every single shareholders profile. Now, a lot of these are really small private companies that you can't really find information on unless it was like another news article talking about an investment made in a company. Uh, so it, it is hard to find information on a lot of these firms. But for the most part, I was able to confirm that a lot of these are Japanese companies or banks and this sort of thing. So that's good. The ones that stand out are HTC Vive. Now that is old news, but if you don't know about that, you might find that interesting that they invested in CoverCore. And the concerning one is Chiba Dojo through a limited partnership, which is most of these to be fair. But let's talk about Chiba Dojo specifically. Something else to keep in mind, by the way, is the article I went over talking about recent investments in Hall Libel recent, you know, air quotes from May. That's the most recent update though. Along with the company profile for CoverCore, there's no additional investors to be found. So keep in mind that potentially there might be more Chinese investors that are yet disclosed to the public because again, they haven't even updated their company profile page, the capital raised apparently. Um, and there's a chance that there are no additional Chinese investors yet. So just, you know, keep that in mind. And let's take a look. Here's Chiba Dojo. It says about Chiba Dojo drone sector Shenzhen Camp. Founded in June 2017, Drone Fund has invested in about 30 domestic companies over the past two years. This seems like a group that really focuses on investing in the drone sector, so to speak. They even talk about how they have multiple investments with, you know, so to speak, competitors. But I don't want to talk about drones. I want to talk about cover core. So let's kind of stick to what's relevant for that. Why Shenzhen? Shenzhen is close to Guangzhou and Hong Kong, home to Huawei Tencent, operating the Chinese version of Line and WeChat, and the world's largest drone manufacturer, DJI. It is also called the Chinese Silicon Valley. Point I'm getting at, it seems like this group certainly likes China. And remember, they do indeed own a portion of CoverCore, we just don't know the portion. And to be quite honest, luckily, the reasonable assumption is that they don't own more equity in CoverCore than the other investment, uh, the other the other investors, and of course, you know, the owners of CoverCore themselves. Speaking of the owners of CoverCore, it seems like they do like China. Take a look at this right here from the prior article that we were reading. Talks about what CoverCore is. We're gonna skip to the highlight area. Uh, number of registered channels on YouTube and Bilibili exceeds 15 million, making it a popular VTuber office not only in Japan, but also overseas, mainly in Asia. We are actively expanding overseas, and in January 2019, we started activities on the Chinese video distribution service Bilibili as soon as possible. So it seems like they had a choice, right? Do we want to penetrate the Chinese market or the U.S. market? And uh, well, we obviously know that they've tried to do both now but they chose China first. Make of that what you will, they say. And in September 2019, we also started off uh, operating VTuber in China. April 2020, VTuber operation in Indonesia started in January, and we are currently holding VTuber auditions in English-speaking countries. Again, this is a report from May. Things have already changed since then. Finally, let's talk about this part. Strengthening the expansion of VTuber overseas, such as in English-speaking countries. We have been aggressively promoting the expansion in China with the vision of, quote, making fans all over the world enthusiastic about VTuber culture originating in Japan. And I think that vision sounds nice on paper, but 
you know, it seems like a lot of the people in China, not all of them, obviously, I've already made this disclaimer many times, but some people in China, man, they aren't interested in your culture. They just want you to do things their way. And how's that been going now? That's the segment, guys. Thank you for tuning in. See you soon for the third.